Right, what up dudes? This is a, a quick video. I just wanted to get something out there so that I can start a conversation about it. This is not my only video about this, I just wanted to start it today. I want to talk about vaccines and the current COVID vaccine being pushed in the UK. So the UK is the first country to roll out the vaccine for COVID. Usually vaccines take about 10 years to create because you have to do a lot of testing. Uh, this one's been rolled out in about 10 months. So the UK has purchased 30 million doses of the COVID vaccine from a company called Pfizer and I'm gonna let this video play just watch it it's just about it's just some information about the company it's quite concerning that this is all happening and everyone's just accepting it pretty much everyone I know is just saying yes to it and I wanted to get some information about the company out there quickly before everyone takes this thing I'm not making this so that people listen to what I'm saying don't listen to what I say I'm just getting some info out there so that people can think twice maybe before people get injected with something they know nothing about so this company Pfizer here's some info about them the vaccine is coming out soon. I won't be talking about it, but I will tell you about the company behind it. The UK government has purchased 30 million doses of COVID mRNA vaccine from a company called Pfizer. The vaccine is due to be delivered in November with the potential of 100 million doses by the end of the year and 1.3 billion doses next year. News just out. Pfizer says it could be ready to apply for emergency use authorization for its COVID-19 vaccine candidate by late November. It won't be mandatory at the beginning, but judging from the large orders, a gradual plan will be implemented to persuade and incentivize people to take the vaccine and put restrictions on people that don't, along with shaming campaigns. I want to tell them that their decision, they need to understand, will not affect only their lives, which at the end of the day, it is their uh, judgment, but will affect the lives of others. Because if they don't vaccinate, they will become the weak link that will allow this virus to replicate. Some will say that this is conspiracy theory. So let's just stick to the facts. The government trusted Pfizer to vaccinate the British people. So it's logical to want to inquire into the company's track record in safety and ethics. After all, they must be trustworthy in fighting for humanity, right? Pfizer made itself one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world by purchasing its competitors and through aggressive marketing tactics. What I'm about to tell you is only 20% of their rap sheet. Otherwise, this video would be hours long. But you can go to our website where you can see the full list. Pfizer received the biggest criminal fine in US history as part of a $2.3 billion settlement with federal prosecutors for mispromoting medicines and for paying kickbacks to compliant doctors. Pfizer pleaded guilty to misbranding the painkiller Bextra by promoting the drug for uses that were not approved by medical regulators. In the 90s, they were involved in defective heart valves that led to the deaths of more than 100 people. The company had deliberately misled regulators about the hazards. The company agreed to pay $10.75 million to settle Justice Department charges. Pfizer also had a class action suit with a $60 million settlement over Resilin, diabetes medication that resulted in patients dying from acute liver failure said to be caused by the drug. In the UK, they have been fined nearly £90 million by the UK's competition watchdog for unfair pricing to the NHS after hiking up the cost of an anti-epilepsy drug by 2,500%, charging the taxpayer an extra £48 million than the actual price, which is £2 million per year. Buying competitors and mis-selling drugs weren't the only factors in making them the giant of a company they are. Their special relations with doctors and medical professionals has also helped. In 2004, Pfizer's subsidiary agreed to pay $430 million to resolve criminal charges that it paid physicians to prescribe its epilepsy drug, Neurontin, to patients with ailments for which the medication was not approved. In 2010, a federal jury found that Pfizer committed racketeering fraud in its marketing of the drug. Pfizer disclosed that during a six-month period the previous year, it had paid $20 million to some 4,500 doctors and other medical professionals for speaking on the company's behalf. 2012, 
the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission announced that it had reached a $45 million settlement with Pfizer to resolve charges that its subsidiaries had bribed overseas doctors and other healthcare professionals to increase foreign sales. But some of you might say they are a business and they don't get to make billions a year by not being competitive. They're still trying to help humanity. Pfizer was sued in a US federal court by Nigerian families who accused the company of testing a dangerous new antibiotic called Troven on children without parents' consent and using their children as human guinea pigs. A panel of medical experts concluded that Pfizer had violated international law and the company agreed to pay $75 million to settle the lawsuits in Nigerian courts. The US case was settled for an undisclosed amount. Amid widespread criticism of high pricing for poor countries, and in particular, AIDS medications, Pfizer offered to donate a two-year supply of its drug, Diflucan, worth $50 million to the South African government. Yet in 2003, Pfizer backed away from the company's plan to license its AIDS drug for low-cost distribution in poor countries. The list goes on. I don't want to bore you with it. But ask yourself, if it was a car manufacturer, would you buy a car from them? We plan to honor our history and we will only bring to the world a vaccine that has been proven safe and efficacious. If Pfizer is trustworthy enough to be given one of the keys to vaccinate the population with something that was knocked up in a few months and with such a track record for safety and ethics, I know what I think. Do you? People like Bill Gates have been talking about COVID for this whole year. He's been very excited about it. And that's because he is going to make a lot of money selling these vaccines. He has, Bill Gates is also someone who made a TED talk about depopulation. So we all know that the guy is very evil. He's also not a scientist. He is a businessman. At the moment, the UK government is saying that these vaccines will not be mandatory. But by the looks of it, they are making very large orders for this thing. They will find a way to make you take the vaccine. Just wanted to add that there's a 99.9% .9 survival rate for COVID. Don't let the media trick you into thinking the numbers that they're spewing out are real. All these deaths that they claim might not be related to COVID at all. I've got to be so careful. I've got to be so careful. This is going on my YouTube channel, so I have to be so careful what I'm saying. In business, when you create a problem, you offer a solution and you sell that solution. Yeah, I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but uh, if you look at it from the, the money side, if COVID was man-made, you would already have the vaccine ready to sell. This is hypothetical. If it was if it was man-made, create the problem and then offer the solution. That's how you make the money. I really don't want to make this. I just, I just want to start the conversation on my channel. I want to see what my viewers think of this whole thing. Please leave a comment. First of all, leave a comment. Let me know, will you take the vaccine? Whether you said yes or no, Please tell me why and get in get in detail. Maybe you have a sick parent, grandparent who's vulnerable and you're doing it to protect them. Please be civil also in the comments. Like don't get in arguments with people because you're not gonna change their minds. Uh, I realize that making this, I'm probably not gonna change anyone's mind. I just wanted to bring this video that we found on Instagram to you and then you can make of it what you will. I've been staying away from news, been staying away from all of this. Uh, it's just word of mouth that I found out the vaccine is now here and it came a lot sooner than we thought. They're saying it won't be mandatory, but they might do a few things. There are a lot of people who are unemployed because of this. Now, those people are taking money from the government. The government, if they wanted to, could say, if you do not take this vaccine, we will stop your benefits. We will stop paying you. That's one hypothetical. That's one thing that could happen. The second thing is they might do a medical passport. So they'll say, you can't get on this flight unless you take the vaccine. Another thing that might happen is you might fly somewhere, get there, the, the other country will say you need the vaccine to enter. That's another hypothetical. This isn't happening, but it could. You have to think about these things. We don't know what's coming, but it can't be good. No, nothing that's happened this year has been good. It's all been very evil and manipulative. Another hypothetical, if you don't take the vaccine, they might do a guilt trip campaign. They'll find a way to make you feel very, very bad for not taking it. I mean, they started this whole thing off with wear a mask or your grandma will die. That's how they started this thing. So they can just continue that, really. They can say, if you don't take the vaccine, your grandma will die. I also just want to add that they've never put any shows out on the news on how to get healthy. It's <laughs> kind of funny. I'm trying to keep this short, just wanted to start the conversation. I would like to make another video responding to the comments of this video. So please get in detail, talk to each other, argue if you need to, but be civil so that I can react to it. If you if you throw loads of swear words in there and stuff, I'm not gonna react to that comment. So please be nice to each other. Remember that you're not gonna change anyone's mind by arguing with them. Just share your opinion. Um, I'll be down there in the comments too. 
but I want to respond in a video, maybe tomorrow. Personally, I will not be taking the vaccine. Be safe out there, be smart, do your research, don't listen to me. I am a nobody, please don't listen to me. I was just about to start editing this. One more thing I wanted to add is that I made a video a few months ago about a TV show that talked about pandemics. The conclusion of the show was the vaccine that everyone took for the, the virus made them infertile. And I haven't been able to get that thought out of my head. It was only a TV show, but I haven't been able to get that thought out of my head. If one day some evil genius created a, va created a virus and then offered the a vaccine, and the vaccine was actually meant to sterilize you so you weren't able to reproduce, that's an excellent way to depopulate the earth. It hasn't had time to be tested. It's been pushed very fast. Everyone taking it right now is the guinea pigs. We don't know the long-term effects. How could we know? It's, it's come out too fast. The media will only show you people taking it and then being applauded and their heroes for taking this thing. They're actually just guinea pigs. So anyone considering taking this thing, just be aware it hasn't been tested long term. We don't know what the long term side effects will be. And you can't say in the comments there is no side effects because how would you know? No one's taking it and survived for a long time. We don't know what's going to happen. Again, don't listen to me. I'm just a concerned citizen. Uh, I don't want to lose people. I don't like the idea of billionaires killing people. And this company in the video I just showed you sound very evil. Anything they produce, I would not buy. I would not con consume. Okay, that's all.